right, so now we are going to make sure that this guy can tween from the back to the quarter black, <laughs> quarterback view. Um, so let me show you how I'd go about that. Okay, so this is all the coat stuff, right? So the coat and bandana. So if we look at the pivot, it goes out to the side and then it comes back in. So I want to get this back view working first because I want the quarterback and the back view to tween perfect. It's not always super important to get this to this. Like this is where we hide stuff because people usually don't need to tween those too often. And if they have to, they can kind of just make it up as, as needed. Unless the show really requires it, then we could, but. All right, so here we go. We're on the code and bandana. So I am going to, um, let's see, the coat is centered, which I like. I kind of want to just use the deformers and make the coat work for me. Okay. Just need to get the bandana to cover that part. We need the back of the bandana, right? So that's looking good. The bandana. Okay, so it's there. There. That's working. I kind of think I want this here. And finally, here. And who knows, maybe I'll change my mind. Okay. But the thing is, I already figured out the coat and bandana stuff. Um, let's um, you, let's make the pants do what they need to do. Okay, so I'm always keeping that bottom part there. So maybe here, I can either move this up and then move the other things down. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, got that working. These bandana pieces from here to here, I'm gonna flip them. So I think I'll just flip the their master ties master peg. Okay. Yeah, that works. I like it. And if I'm gonna angle them, I'll just angle them on the pegs themselves. bandana back. It is time to create the thing. Alright, so I am going to use the pencil tool and maybe I will use the pressure. We'll go color, bandana line, no pressure. Wiggle it so it's Copy paste, move it up, use the perspective tool. It's kind of a cool tool. Sorry, I don't have a preview of it for you. It's usually in the toolbar there. Okay. Here. Let me join all those, see if they will. Yeah, that worked. Add a control point, control. By holding control. 
Control to break it. Oh, Alt. Alt to break that handlebar. Okay, I think that'll do me well. Um, let's go ahead and add some extra contour points because I know that we're going to be deforming this thing. Paint bucket. Cut it from there, paste it there. Da. <laughs> I'm going to disable the reference for now. Oh, turn off the light table, that'll help. Alright, so I need to extend this over here. I think that works. Painted it, cut and paste it, put it on the color art layer. All right, I need to make the special deal here where I need to copy the color, paste it on here, give it the color, copy this, paste it up here. Now it should work. That behavior, it's nice that I already figured it out ahead of time, didn't have to do it again. Um, okay, so now I just need to add deformers, so control Y, add a display, um, I'll go find that, solo that thing, or I will show the outline, plus add deformers, rigging tool, okay. Just four. I can get away with that just fine. Hold Alt, complete that. Okay, I'm done with that. Delete. Now, something I need to do, this is new. Um, all the deformers are, are new. So what I'm gonna do, and also this uh, swap is only showing up on this last frame. So I'm going to click on this. Add a keyframe here. I'm just gonna go copy, paste, 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 paste. So now it is available to come onto the scene. Now let me see if I need to do anything else with this back view. I'm just gonna use this one. Okay, I think I think I got it. Oh, I need to add these little creases, don't I? All right, time for the creases. Now, I don't remember where they are. Oh, I see them now, but check this out. If you didn't know where something was, but you knew the name, you could type it in here, crease, enter, and it goes and it finds it. Okay, I definitely want pressure on this. Okay. 
and I'll let it come off the body. It'll just uh, mask to the body. Doesn't need to be very big. Looks like I probably will want it to be the size of the, here. Use the cutter tool, go like this. Use the pencil editor tool, width. I'll make that 25 so that it can match with the edge of the body. Yeah, I think that kind of does it. I'm just going to round out the back here just with the tool and pull out that blue spot, that blue line. And now I am going to rigging tool plus and drag two points. And I am going to control Y out of display two. Touch it up. Cool. Now I need to do the same thing I did before, and that is go find it, add a keyframe, copy and paste, because it's not visible right now. It was only showing up on the one frame. Okay, so I've got that. And I think I'm just going to go the cheap way here for the other regular display so I can see everything. I am going to select using the select tool, copy that, paste it over here on the crease two, flip it with the drawing tools. And then I'll just adjust it a little bit, maybe with tool, maybe I'll make it taper a little bit more, a little finer point and maybe I will change the curvature just a tiny bit. Just to vary it up a little bit. And now I'm going to use the display two and add some deformers to this guy. And I need to set the pivot point. I forgot to do that. Hold control, select them both. I think I want it to pivot from down here. And then I'm also going to set the pivot for this one. Control, select both. Move this over here. Get rid of that display. Okay. Hmm, cool. And maybe I will make this look like it's curving just a little bit more. That looks better. Line this up down here, make it curve. There we go. Now these I do not want showing up in front of the body by default, do I? No, I kind of want them behind the body and they only come out when they're behind the body. So that means that I want to, I'm going to add a composite to them. Control H. Crease comp. And then um, creases, I'm going to change it from being that bright color because I figured it out now. The bright color is just to remind me to come back to it. 
Okay, so I've got that, and I want to cable cut that second set. All right, so the coat, so this thing will be masked to the body, but when it starts out, I want it to be behind the body. So these, this cable is going to be behind the torso to start out, I think. And I'm going to have to use the master peg here on the creases. Press Alt down to bring it forward. Alt down to bring it forward. And it's not going to be forward here. Yeah, I think that that works. Okay, but they need to be masked to the body. So I need to do one of these. Could I slide it into there? No. Maybe I could put it into that extra details comp. Oh, it's all the way over there. Hmm. Eh, I can just give it its own cut and reveal. Copy and then paste it here on creases. So I'll just say creases revealed on torso. Hold shift, drag out another cable from that waypoint. Man, I love using those things. That's looking pretty good, man. All right, so now that I've fixed, I've finished the back view, now I am going to touch this one up. So I'm gonna come here and work on it. I think I kinda wanna come over here, copy, make sure there's a keyframe everywhere, copy that, paste it here, and then touch it up. Okay, so I've already got this. Just need to place that. Paste this. You'll notice that I'm not going thoroughly through everything anymore. That's because I've already figured most of that stuff out. I'm not going down like one cable like I was at the beginning of the turnaround stuff. Um, okay. Here, this just needs to come down, out, yeah that works, okay, and then these little bandanas need to be further towards us so that the shoulder things not happening there and then here I'm also going to bring them forward once just so that when they tween from here to there it's never gonna sometimes go behind and sometimes go in front and maybe here I'll even press alt down just so that if this ever tweens to that the shoulder will always stay behind it okay Next, these. This is interesting. Hmm. I want the arm in front, then I want it behind. Here, I'll put it up. Um, I will put it 
as you look up here at the coordinate toolbar, it's now at 0 0.002, but back here it's at 0 0.001. I'm gonna bring it forward again. So 0 0.002, if it ever tweens, it stays at the same place in Z depth. But here, this one's at 0 0.01, now I need it at 0.03. So I'll put it at 0 0.03 here. If they ever tween, it'll stay in front. I might as well put this at 0 0.03 so it just always stays in front. Okay, the, the whole reason I just did that was so that I could have this line down here and then it will be able to be revealed. I will adjust the body a little bit. This needs to be adjusted. Okay, so it's down there, and then here, here. <clears throat> so it'll tween between those two views just fine. It won't tween between these very well because at this point it's over here, and at this point it's up there. Anyways, if anybody wants to tween between those, they'll have to manually fix it. All right, so now I've got the whole turn. What about these spots? Hmm. They went behind the face. Is there some Z depth on it? Shift B, there's no Z depth, Shift B. Oh, yeah, they went behind the face there. I don't want them to. Zero. And zero, I don't want them to go behind the face. They should still be able to be here and tween on perfectly. Okay, so they go off the side and then they need to stay off the side so that when they start tweening back on, they come right from there. Now this one should be on the front of the face, right? So it started there and then it went off. I'll bring it here and I'll smash it a little bit. And then I will copy and paste that. Copy, paste. That needs to stay off this side. So when we tween it back on, it'll come from that. That's a copy, paste. So. moving those give it some variation copy paste and then it's off the side but I, I want to keep just moving them independently a little bit just to give that sense of the turn okay that's working could probably use some more stuff going on but most of it is figured out Okay, this eyeball I think is probably sticking out a little too far now. So I'm gonna tuck it back in. That works for me. This brow, I guess can be here. I just wanted to clear the silhouette. Yeah, I guess it can be there. I'm gonna squash it just a little bit. There. And now I am going to disable that. All right, next we'll do some more detailed stuff. See you soon.